This podcast is brought to you by Liquid Bast. Liquid Bast. It's fucking awesome. Masturbation is required the best when drinking liquid bast. Mm. Must be fucking a bunch of guys. Don't know what I did. To get some dick like this. But baby, I must, must be, be fucking, fucking a bunch of guys. guys. Yeah, man. Wanna taste. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> baby, suck my dick and I'll suck yours and after. Yeah, Cause we're both dudes and we're both fucking gay. Mm-hmm. Isn't it weird how like there's a designated guy that gets fucked? You know, there's a top and a bottom. It's like you both have both parts. Just use them both. <laughs> oh, you know, at fuck at the same time? Uh, fuck each other's ass? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess they could like. Instead of 69, they call it the really long one. Oh, a gay 69 must be crazy. You're sucking each other's dicks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You couldn't pull apart two gay guys dude. at 69 <laughs> each other, dude. <laughs> That's good. That's funny. Don't know what I did to get some dick like me. But baby, I must be fucking a bunch of gals. I sucked a man in Reno just to watch him bust. <laughs> I, I sucked a man in Reno just to watch him bust. <laughs> <laughs> nice, so this is the gay episode. <laughs> Hello, darling. Nice to doing? see you. It's, it's been, been a long time since I fucked that ass, <laughs> and I miss you. It's fucked up to think, like, isn't that song about a little girl? No. Uh, Con- the Conway Twitty song? No, it's about, uh, like, uh, his old lover that's married oh, now. Oh, okay. I, I, I read somewhere that it was about, like, a 12-year-old. Hello, darling. How you doing? Can it's I- been a long time, just a six year, <laughs> since you turned 13. <laughs> <laughs> just a sexy when you were a baby. <laughs> How's your new love? Are you happy? Just hope it's a guy <laughs> just like me when we were having some gay sex. It's actually about his uh his male lover named uh, Twanway Kitty. <laughs> Twanway. He was black. He was black. <laughs> Twanway. <laughs> Twanway Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> She. Oh, that's why I'm like kidding, man. <laughs> that's what they call me. I do country rap. You know what I'm saying? Dude, country rap's another thing. That country rap rules. Uh, country rap rules if it's not like the actual redneck guys doing it. You know, because then it's just like it's they're taking it way too serious. You know, but if it's like uh, that one song that Lil Tracy did, that was like little uh, fucking all metal farmer's daughter, and it was like over a rap beat, dude. That shit was so funny. Dude, uh, Catfish Billy's pretty good by, um, fuck, what's his name? I don't know, it's like Catfish Billy, yellow Catfish Wolf, Billy. Yeah, yeah, it's Yellow Wolf. Catfish yeah. Billy, is that, Catfish is Billy. Is what like, fucking guy's in the name? Is he like, <laughs> yes. no, I'm just kidding. Is he like classified as country rap? Is that what he is? I mean, dude, he's from the belly of the Bible belt. The oh, motherfuckers okay. preach his daughter's okay. son. Yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> yes, good, so. point. Is is good old, point. Is Old Town Road. Yeah. Beat, right? I'm gonna take, it's, yeah. <laughs> It, it, I'm gonna I, take my dick up this old guy's ass. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck Miley Cyrus's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I got my dick up in my ass. <laughs> I got some dick up in my ass. Homies, I'm a fire. <laughs> homies in the sack, I'm not ever coming back. <laughs> fuck my fucking wife. I'm dying a fucking <laughs> hole. I get fucked by guys in a motherfucking hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god! It's not as fun to do Old Town Road because that guy's actually gay. I mean, uh, maybe it yeah. makes it more fun. You know what? It does. It makes it more. <laughs> oh shit, dude! Oh shit! Drop the cig. Drop the cig on good, my lap. Though. Sometimes it happens though. Yeah. Josh, you know when you just drop a cig? Well, Josh, yeah, he can Josh, relate. Josh doesn't smoke cigs. Josh doesn't <laughs> smoke cigs. Yo, smoking cigs fucking rules. I'll go ahead and say that. No, it doesn't. It's it's, so it's awesome. They taste good. They fucking look. You look cool as fuck while you're smoking them. Uh, you can punctuate a sentence by. Oh, yeah, you do get to do that, though. Hitting your cig, you know? 
You get to stunt your growth. You get to stunt your growth. You get to breathe way worse, dude. You get to fucking stink a lot. You get know? a little bit of cancer. Get a little mm-hmm. bit of cancer. I, I read somewhere that t- smoking a cigarette takes 11 minutes off your life. And there was a guy that was like, yeah, you could literally smoke a pack a day and it would take like seven hours off your life, dude. You're fine. Damn. Yeah. That's still a lot, though. Maybe it wasn't. So, and him, nah, maybe he was like, okay, I, I completely fucked that up because... I did read that like yesterday. <laughs> Got drunk after I read it, so I <laughs> fucked it up. Right? I was drunk. So he was like, "You could literally smoke a pack a day, and you're gonna lose like three years off your life." So you're, you, I mean, go ahead and keep smoking, you know. But what if you die at like 18? Uh, well, <laughs> then, now you die at 15, and you're a pussy. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, you could die at you know 73 or 70, you know. Damn. You after think- after 60, I think I'm I'm pretty much done. I'm I'm gonna just be chilling after 60. Fucking yeah. well, every I heard everything just like hurts after 60. Like, it just sucks. Dude, I heard everything hurts after 30. Fuck. Yeah, man. And we're close. We're getting there, dude. Yeah. We're hop, skip, and a jump away from, like... Arthritis. The, arthritis, yeah. Arthritis. arthritis. Fucking... What, what's another old person disease? Uh, uh, being annoying as fuck when you're telling a story? We're so close to that, dude. Uh, reading a book on purpose? Reading a book on purpose? Watching the news for fun? Watching the news for fun uh, and then getting pissed. God damn it, dude. Yes. Yeah, yes. Um, I saw on the news that NASA sent uh, another rover to Mars. Bird watching, maybe? Yeah, something like no, that. Just... Yeah, they were watching. They were watching for birds. Um, they sent another rover to Mars, and I, and and like the camera footage is just so dog shit. And it's like, hey NASA, you're NASA, okay? Get a fucking GoPro or something. What? Get, why do you have the worst cameras? What if the Mars rover like just sent a dick pic? <laughs> <laughs> The Mars rover rolls up on a gay alien orgy, and it's like, dude, check this out, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you guys might fucking believe what I saw up there, dude. We're getting back. Uh, we're getting a signal back from uh, d- d- R two K two um, <laughs> from Smoking Mars. Smoking fake weed. <laughs> from yeah, the space people are like, the NASA's like, just full of bunch of stoners. Like, dude, hold up, we're getting a uh, picture from R two K nine two. Uh, here it is. <laughs> And it's just like a robot dick. And it's like, oh, oh dude. Mars it's, Rover, that's not what we wanted to see, dog. Dude, Mars Rover's playing a fucking, he's giving us a dick pic, dog. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about nuclear war lately, dude, and it's freaking me out. You know that uh, I, I saw an article from CNN, which, by the way, it's CNN. You can, I mean, what news source can you trust nowadays? But it said that the U.S. just spent over $290 million on uh, anti-radiation medication. Oof. Yeah, and then Elon Musk is like, we are closer to nuclear war than we have ever been, ever. Which, by the way, you're Elon Musk, what are you talking about? You don't know, but um, it is Elon Musk also. See, Which, it, the point is, you're Elon Musk, but also you're Elon Musk, so. Do something. So, I'm scared, but what are you talking about, you know? Give fucking Vladimir a Tesla and then, like, booby trap it, dude. Dude, uh, that, would, that would probably work. That would be the way to assassinate Putin, is to put a fucking bomb inside of a Tesla and send it to him. He's like, I just want a red Tesla. Send me a red Tesla, we will be fine. Sends him a red Tesla and it's got a fucking exploding cigar in it. <laughs> or the radio plays like the Russian national anthem and like at the very end it just explodes. Fucking going back to the CNN fucking bullshit. CNN can be like cheese, a milky treat coming from cows, or white supremacy. And yeah. Then, and then Fox News will be like cheese. Uh, white supremacy. <laughs> white supremacy or part of the gay agenda. <laughs> it's like, okay. White wait. supremacy or against vaccines. <laughs> white supremacy or it takes ivermectin. <laughs> dude, they got Kanye West on Fox News, dude. And uh, I bet that was just insane. Oh, my God, yeah. Didn't he wear, like, white Everyone, lives matter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. That's funny. People are so mad about that, too. It's like, hey, man, just don't look at it. Just, hey... You know what the craziest thing is? And hear me out, boys, because this is going to be something that you're going to have to really reach to understand. But if you see something on Twitter, you can just close the app. You yeah, know? It's true. Yeah. You don't have to look at it. But it's so fun to get pissed off at stuff you can't change. Wow, yeah. No, that, that sounds like a lot of fun, Mark. <laughs> that sounds Seizing. like such a good time, dude. Just seeing how this world's crumbling at our fucking feet. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. It's like, it's like hey, everybody, shut up. You know? Hey, everybody at the same time right now, shut the fuck up. I feel like if everybody was just silent for five seconds, everybody in the world was silent for five seconds, we would all be like, wow, it's not so bad. You know? I'm going to start wearing a shirt called that just says white lives. White lives. I was looking on, 
on Amazon for another funny shirt because I got that gay Dracula one, mm-hmm. and I found one with just a giant nut sack on the front of a white T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. I'm going to get a shirt that says, I'm not gay, but my penis is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we should just get a bunch of uh, like, like flaming gay pride T-shirts, dude. You know what, Josh? I'm gonna get a shirt of you getting fucked. Oh my god, <laughs> we should have Bailey draw Josh getting fucked he, by like the biggest guy. He yeah, it's not. Bailey drew a, a pic. Let's not what. Let's not go into it. Yeah. Bailey drew a picture of fucking Josh getting fucked by a black guy. That's hilarious. Dude. <laughs> I, love that. I want that. I want that on a shirt. And it was like Josh's. His ass is up and his head's on the ground, and then the dude has his foot on his head. <laughs> <laughs> the so most disrespectful, yeah, the dude. Most so fucked up one. This is the most disrespectful <laughs> fuck position of all time. <laughs> so you fuck. fucking bitch, Josh. I was jerked off to it twice, but I jerked off to it three times. No, you're a pussy. <laughs> three times. Um, I busted to it more than you. You're a pussy. <laughs> to it more, Dom. Dude, I busted way more times than you, dude. <laughs> Did you, you think you've busted first. more than me? Like in 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 our entire lives, you think you busted more than me? Josh is nodding his head like vigorously. Yes. That's why I didn't ask Josh because I already know he's busted more than both of us combined. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's right, he's right. I feel like it goes you, me, then Josh at the most. Josh does the most. I do the medium most. You do the least most. We're How like, many times you jerk off a day? Like one to wake me up, one to put me back to bed. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I believe you. Um, I swear to God, if it's like a Sunday and I'm bored, maybe like still just twice. Dude, if it's a <laughs> if it's a slow day at work, I'm fine in a bathroom in an empty building. I'm whacking off, you know. I, I'd, mm. I'd say on a slow work day, I'll probably go three or four times a day. Are you fucking me right now? No, because like one to wake me up, like you, and then I I'm like maybe two during my eight hour shift where I'm like nothing's really happening. I I could really speed up like ten minutes right here. And then one to go to bed. Get a shirt that says, don't talk to me until I've came. Don't talk to me until I bust. <laughs> until don't I've talk had to me jerk. until I've had my bust. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. Josh, I'm almost scared to ask you, but uh, <laughs> fucking, how many times do you usually jerk off a of day? Lately. We've, we've talked about it like months ago, but lately, what, what are you rocking lately? with? Lately? Like average a day. Around six times. It's no shit. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, no shit. No shit. No shit. No shit. Okay. Respect. Okay, so he said it with his chest, and he told us the truth. Yeah. Respect, dude. So, like, what's the schedule? Today I lost count. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost in the song. Uh, yeah, today I just uh, I covered my own eyes and jizz, and I, I couldn't tell when I was jerking off or not. <laughs> I was just reaching for stuff, found something, tugged on it, and I came. Yeah. <laughs> do you, is it all porn, or do you think about it? It's all porn. It's all porn. Sometimes you got to take that one time where you just use your imagination just to prove yeah. to yourself that you still can do it's that. It's better sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it is. You know that one you know that like that once a week bust where you're like really just ready to fucking tug your shit, dude? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? A good hey, bust. Hey yeah. my, if it wasn't obvious, skip. <laughs> yeah. You go ahead and go ahead and skip to about 15 minutes in. Six times. So like you wake up and then when's the next? You wake, ten, do you jerk ten, off ten, when you ten, wake up? Yeah, jerk off is it six like, times. Is it like when you wake, wake up? up? Yeah, when I wake up. And then one at lunch? No, no. No, this is all, all before. Morning. This is all before work. All in the morning? No, no. Oh, no. my God. <laughs> no, like, maybe like two. <laughs> two before work? Two before work. Average. How many at work? None at work. None. Okay, because I, I, n- I know where you work, and you got to be careful about that. You got to be real careful. Yeah, there, you got to be careful about that. <laughs> I don't, I'm too. I start. I try to stay busy on that. Like, yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. You know, but uh, and then and then mostly when you get home, probably three or four after after <laughs> after work. After work. Yeah. God damn. God damn. That's hilarious. <clears throat> but at least he's not lying. At least you're not lying. Yeah, he could be like just like twice a I'm day. Sorry, dude. He could be lying completely, like lying to our like he you could be lying to your best friend's faces and go, Yeah, I just jerk off once when I wake up and once when I go to bed. Dude, like that's not even like a thing. That's not <laughs> even a lie, bro. I'm telling you. Oh man, Someday, comedy podcast is just jokes. <laughs> Some days I like skip it, though. It's like a refresher, you know. We gotta have a refresher. Yeah. Ro- dude, I was listening to Rogan, and he was like, yeah, I just jerk off like twice a week. You got to appreciate it. And I was like, <laughs> we get it, bro. Elk meat, whatever. You fucking use a bow. You fucking, yeah. He's like, yeah, I use a bow and arrow to jerk off. <laughs> yeah. I jerk off with an elk steak. <laughs> I jerk off with DMT, dude. Fucking. I jerk off with a cigar. So did you, like, revisit a video today, or was it all, like, separate videos? 
I don't remember. <laughs> I definitely have videos that I revisit. When I find a gas yeah. one, I'm like, all right, type in the exact name of it, and I'm like, yes, I found it. But there are the ones that like I try to type in the exact name and just nothing comes up, and I'm like, ah, you're fucking, you're gay. I oh, th- dude. There was one. There was one I watched <laughs> where, um, and I think we, I think we've already talked about it, but like it was like it was like awesome. This whole video is awesome. And right when I was about to bust, the camera like pans around to the guy's ass, and I was like, no! <laughs> you did, yeah, you yeah. Said it. <laughs> dude. I was watching one that the guy just kept moaning louder than the girl, and ma, I'm like, ma, ma, go ahead and skip to about 17 <laughs> yeah, minutes. Yeah, now. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and skip. Yeah, just um, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was like he was just enjoying it way too fucking much. And it's like, okay, this is a really cool video, but I gotta stop. Like this is I'm yeah, done. Yeah. I almost left a comment. Yeah, you know, I feel gay. You know? Yeah, I, you gotta yeah, you gotta really I be felt gay. Yeah. You gotta re, you gotta be really pissed off or have like a really good nut to leave a comment on a Pornhub video. You know? Japanese porn's weird, dude. Oh my god, Japanese it's like why are you blurring the dick and puss? Yeah. It's like the whole point, isn't it? That's the whole point. I mean, it's it's like, it's like, it's not even softcore and it's not hardcore. It's like, it's like, I, I don't know. It's it's foam core, you know. It's it's like, whoa. We can't just let people trying to watch people fuck see the parts. Yeah, that's not that's the whole point. And they're yeah. like, yeah, they're like that doesn't make any sense. They're like, yeah, but, but we're Japanese. Yeah, and you know what the worst one is is is. I was in an Xbox party when I was like 13, and this guy was like, dude, type in this video on XNXX.com. And I typed it in, and it was hentai, and I was like, okay. okay. I, I, I didn't know like hentai was a thing. I didn't know anime porn was a thing. So I, I clicked on it, and it's, it was still blurred, the dick and puss. And I was like, why the f- What the fuck, man? This makes no sense on multiple levels. It, yeah. It's like, why am I watching cartoon characters fuck my 13-year-old ass? And I was like, why is everything blurred? It we just showed titties. Can't see anything? Yeah. You can't see anything. It, it, like, yo, what's the point of porn that just shows titties and moaning? You know, dude. There's some videos that are just audio, like the and the, like <laughs> lady just read. No shit. I swear to God, dude. No, it's just the way you said it. There's some videos that just audio. That's funny. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can. I I get that. But they're video. They're porn videos, pretty right. much. And then uh, it's just one screen, and it's the person's like plug in for like OnlyFans or something. And they're like, okay, today we're gonna like reenact um, with something, something, and this and that, and the milkman. I don't sound so have like a jerk off instruction. Or something. I, like, I guess for blind people, they the fucking. Oh. I don't know. Oh right, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Never thought about that. Yeah, a blind guy <laughs> watching porn. <laughs> shit's awesome. Dude. <laughs> <It> just, <laughs> this shit sounds so awesome, dude. Blind dude watching porn, uh, and then he just can't get hard. Yeah, <laughs> a deaf guy watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> Deaf guy calling a sex uh, line, a phone <laughs> sex line. Yes, hello. This is Sex Workers Anonymous. How are you? My name's fucking Tiffany. And oops. And my name's fucking Alexis. And we're. And how are you doing today? Hello. <laughs> 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 you guys ever like look at the comments after you busted the video? Yep. After yeah. though, after, after you bust, after, yeah. yeah. No, well, not. I mean, sometimes. Yeah, it's always after for me. There, I was watching this lesbian video one time. And there was a hilarious comment after I busted. I was like, I just gotta see what they said. And this one guy goes, "I liked the ass eating part." <laughs> <laughs> it's just one dude comments, uh, "Not gay." Uh, <laughs> don't like. <laughs> not gay. I'm not a not a fan. Not, not gay. a fan. Yeah. And then uh, I, I watched one. That I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look at the title. I just saw this black dude railing this Asian chick, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll, man, I'll bite." So the intro of the video is is this Asian chick and a white guy coming to the door, and they were like, "Yeah, so I heard you could you could like come here and make porn and like get paid for it," and he was like, "Yeah, but you ain't gonna like it." So then the the, the couple walks in, and the black guy's like, "All right, bro, you gonna have to sit over there for a little bit," and just starts fucking this dude's girlfriend, and one of the comments was. What a stupid fucking bitch. And I was like, God, man, who hurt you? What? I was like, this guy obviously experienced that before. <laughs> there was one comment. Ma, go ahead and skip to 25 yeah, minutes. Please go ahead and please skip. Skip. <laughs> skip right now. Just Do honestly, not listen to the next honestly, like three minutes. Just turn this episode off. Matter of fact, no no more episode, Ma. Thank, have a good one. Sorry to let you down this week. Sorry. 
I'm sorry. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there was a, there was one. It was like a stepsister like video. Yeah. And in the comments, this dude goes, I "Wish that was my step, like real stepdaughter." I was like, "Oh, okay, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ." Yeah. So like the stepsister ones, I guess are fine. It's the step parent ones that get weird, you know. Oh, dude. It, yeah. And it's especially yeah. weird for me. I think. I think it's just me because I have a stepmom. And anytime I see one of those videos, I'm like, but I have, but I have a stepmom. <laughs> oh, but in real life, this would suck. Yeah, it's like in real life, that'd be so weird. That'd be so terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be terrible, man. I can't even, like, imagine, imagine, like, your parents freshly divorced, your mom gets a new husband, and he comes up to you, he's like, so, hey, Mark, what are you doing? You know how, like, I married your mom and stuff? Fuck that bitch. How about it's you and me now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like, this, is, this isn't like the porn at all. <laughs> this is terrible. This is way different than the porn videos. <laughs> it's the opposite. Yeah. So, son, uh, you know how we got a new hot step, or you have a new hot step, mom. What so if we, I was thinking, if we fucked. <laughs> 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 all right, Dad, that took, a, that took a violent turn there. I'm not sure if we're on the same page. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's terrible, dude. Fuck. What's the weirdest porn category? Is it the is food? It food? Oh yeah, like Definitely smearing food, food on each other and yeah, shit. It's so fucking weird, yeah, dude, dude. You know, Stop. you know how like I put that. That's know? worse than vomit porn. Eat it. Oh shit, porn's pretty bad. Shit porn. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, shit bad. porn's pretty. Bad. Uh, the ones, the ones where like it's not rape, but they pretend it's rape. You know, uh, that's weird. That's an odd one. Um. Cause if c- c- yo, cause listen, I can't watch those, dude. Yeah, imagine, yeah. imagine you're like with a girl, and she's like, "All right, I want you to pretend to rape me, right?" And then what happens when you're like, "All right, I'm into this." And she has a fucking video camera set up and sues you. Yeah, dude. Like, has a video camera set up and then she's like, "All right, you're about to lose all seven listeners to your podcast." <laughs> your girlfriend's <laughs> like, "Yeah, I just have a fantasy about like uh, like getting raped and then." Uh, okay, not- what happened to you? <laughs> yeah, she, and she's like, yeah, just like getting you? submitted, and then even the safe word doesn't work that I give you. Jesus so then you Christ. just keep going, and I'm screaming, and then you're like, oh, oh. No. We were watching uh, me and the girl I was hanging out with. We were watching Shameless, and there was a there's a scene where the the main character, like dad, meets this like older lady, and and, and he's laying in bed, and she chains him up to the to the bed frame, and he's like, oh, you're freaky, aren't you? And she pulls out this box, and he's like, oh. What's 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 in the box? A gun. Is that your is that your your <laughs> box of fun? Just kills him. He just shoots him in the face. <laughs> just murders him. And um, he's like, listen. But so before we before we like get started, I, I feel like we should have like a safe word. And she's like, oh yeah. What do you want your safe word to be? And he goes, stop. We'll just say stop is the safe word. We'll just say that's that's the one. And uh, she opens the box up and she's like, mm, are you ready for this? And he closes his eyes and she pulls out a dildo and like it's a huge. It's like two and a half feet long. Jesus. And God. she like leans up on the on the bed his eyes are still closed and she goes alright Frank are you ready and he opens his eyes and he goes stop <laughs> <laughs> stop stop <coughs> the, our safe word is keep going our safe word is <laughs> do not stop even if I say stop <laughs> <laughs> oh dude Why'd you put yourself in that situation <laughs> what the fuck are you doing <laughs> Uh, for some reason, I just thought of Gordon Ramsay like, oh, "All right, we're gonna have a safe word. <laughs> it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be cunt. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, chef. Uh, th- this fucking pussy's rarer than my own ass. My own. Fucking. <laughs> 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 what happens if you meet like the hottest chick ever, and she's like a she's like a twelve, you know, and she she brings you back to her place. Everything's going great. Maybe maybe you're drinking some wine." Talking about whatever, and then she's like, "All right, let's go. Let's go back to my bedroom. Let's let's make this happen." And she pulls out a dildo and straps it onto herself. And she's like, "This is the only way I can have sex." What are you doing? Yes. Sorry, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Jeez. That's a that's a fair answer. That's a fair answer in this hypothetical. You're right. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dog. I'm I'm faithful even in hypotheticals. So, sorry, dude. Even in my dreams. Sorry, dude. Dude, speaking of dreams, since I haven't been smoking CBD, I've been having some crazy <laughs> withdrawal dreams, dude. They're, they've been nuts. I had one where I was driving down the highway, and I heard, like, footsteps on the roof of my car. Mm. And I took my phone, and I aimed it out with, a, like, Snapchat open so I could see on top of it. 
And it was just Frankenstein walking on top of my car. <laughs> and I was like, I got to start the smoking fuck? CBD again, dude. Jeez. I had one where uh, I was looking. At, uh, actually, my girlfriend was in this one. And it was fucking crazy. So we're like in the middle of town pretty much. Mm-hmm. But it's like a, I think it was, it was Montreal. Yeah. Pretty much. Like it was, that was big. It was like New York City. Pretty much. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Big ass buildings. And then uh, my, I'm talking to my girlfriend. I look up. She looks up. And there's like a giant fucking like mechanical sphere that like is like a small moon forming in the sky and then you That's just no see moon. spaceships it's a space station D- yeah <laughs> i was like it's a star wars what line. in the oh that's funny yeah <laughs> just imagine like a death star getting like put together in the sky that's that was like closer ugh. i was like whoa and then it skipped to me going down this hill in my car and i'm like oh this is steep i might catch some air and i caught some air and i was like oh, oh no oh, and i woke up and i was like oh that was so sick <laughs> <laughs> dude i've been uh I've come to realize that dream analyzations are complete bullshit, right? Because I heard I had somebody tell me that they had a dream about their teeth falling out, and they looked it up, and it was like, oh, that means you're vain. And I was like, that's not what I heard. I heard if your teeth fall out in the dream, you're stressed out. And at that moment, I was like, it's all bullshit. Oh, none of it makes sense, bro. There's some validity. Validity. Can't even say validity. Still didn't even say that right. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Put a T where the D goes. Validity. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Um, to that because I mean I've been a little bit stressed out lately. Uh, I still have my wisdom teeth in, and sometimes it'll like hurt and stuff. So I'll Shit. have dreams that like my teeth are getting pushed out by. Yeah, it sucks. That's fucked up. Yeah, it sucks. And then my mom's like, "Hey, if you ever have a dream where um, teeth fall out, some somebody's gonna die." I'm like, oh. And okay. then the queen died. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. But that, one, but honestly, that even sounds more bullshit than, like, you're stressed out of your vein with the teeth falling out dreams. You know, like, someone's going to die. It's like, you could honestly say that to anything. You guys believe the, the like, the signs? Like, Virgo, like, you're, you're fucking this I don't know. That. Josh. I don't know. I've met so no. many people that are <laughs> like people. Um, I'm not saying, like, astrology is... Yeah, astrology. There's some a validity to it, but like I've met so many people that look like, you know, presets in a video game. Yeah, it's just I've met that person that's just a little bit different than that other person I know, and it's fucking weird. Cause I used to yeah. go to a summer camp. There's a dude that uh, looked like Mer- or um, who's the who's the bald guy in Practical Jokers? Not the bald guy. The the smallest one looks kind of like a chipmunk. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah, yes, and then also him. Looks like, like Gilbert the, Godfrey. So there's that camp dude, there's Gilbert Godfrey, and it's like, what, Murr or some shit? Uh, Larry, Curly, and uh, Mo. No, fuck you, but they all look the same. <laughs> Murr, I'm pretty but sure you remember. Murr, yeah, so they all look the same. I'm like, man, are we... Like, we look at ants, and we're like, those are all the same thing. Whoa, that's a little racy. That's a little racy. <laughs> that's a little racy there. <laughs> Speaking of, it. I don't think you can just say that all ants look the same, dude. That's kind of fucked up. My ant looks way different than my fucking other ant. You know. Short answer, I don't know, Josh. Okay. But uh, <laughs> going to the racy thing, I thought it'd be funny if like you opened up a uh, like an art shop and then uh, named it Colored People. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> that shit would be. <laughs> And then you get shirts that's like, I love colored people. Yeah. <laughs> but it's I heart CP. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't. No, like not CP. Like the New York shirts? Not CP. POC. I heart people of color. CP is child porn. Oh. Okay, nope. Then I'm getting the shirt that says I heart CP. <laughs> but that Jeez. would be pretty funny, too, though. <laughs> you can be like, no, it's Chris Paul, the basketball player. I love Chris Paul. I have a basketball. And yeah. I love CP. <laughs> oh, but his name's CP3. Shut the fuck up. That's what it is. C3PO. C3, what y'all th- C3PO bitch ass? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, dude. Aren't you D2? We're about to have a Star Wars. <laughs> Ow. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, Are you, you coming on to me? Arto, you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be British. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wait, R2D2, you're supposed to just be- do beeps. We're like, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my apologies. My apologies. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh man, George Lucas is a fucked up guy. Made it made a dude kiss his own sister, you know? 
R2, get the fuck out of here. I'm getting some robot pussy. Wow! Yeah, you like that R2? <laughs> no, like, like R2 is about to come and it's like, oh, like the fucking booting up of the, um, the, the old Macintosh yeah. computer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, what if, uh, what if C3PO walks into a room and he's like, yes, I have a new girlfriend, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I have a new girlfriend. Um, robot from Rocky Three. Yes, the robot from Rocky Three. It's actually the robot from Short Circuit. <laughs> yes, I have a new girlfriend, Wally. <laughs> yes, I have a new girlfriend, Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator Two. <laughs> yes, I have a new girlfriend. The T One Thousand. Karen. 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 From SpongeBob. Oh. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> what a fucking incel Plankton was, dude. Couldn't even fuck his wife. Couldn't even fuck his wife. Didn't even have real food. You remember the episode? He was like, holographic meatloaf, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it when SpongeBob was like, I will just uh, filter feed. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. <laughs> my diet doctor Kelp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You forgot my drink! Dude. Hold on, we gotta take a sip of Topo Chico. Crust of Fangs pizza? pizza without my drink! I like how they made the pizza by, like, Mr. Krabs just holding a platter of Krabby Patties and just fucking folding it into a pizza. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just punches it into a pizza. You remember the, the Health Inspector episode where they just killed a guy? Yeah. Yeah, they just killed yeah. a guy. Oh, yeah. And he oh. buried him? And tried to bury him. Cops rolled up on him. They were like, hey, we love the Krusty Krab. And they were like, Sponge boy me Bob. Don't don't tell him we have a dead guy in the trunk. <laughs> they loaded the dead guy into the cop's trunk. You know? That's a dark episode. Dude. They just murdered a guy. Or just kids were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's why SpongeBob was gas. Yeah, I saw um one of the one of the fact pages on Twitter was like, yeah, SpongeBob is the only 1990s cartoon on Nickelodeon that is still running today. Was was Red and Stimpy uh, a kid show? I think so. Yeah. Because that is wild. Yeah, that, that's that, a wild-ass kid show. Yeah, uh, Rocco's Modern up. Life, too. That's a wild-ass show. Dude, well, in Red and Stimpy, there's like, they, they put a saw, like, like, they reenact fucking. Yeah. With a saw, like, pretty much. And you're like, this is a kid show? This is a child show. Yeah. Well, that's why adult animation now, they, like, make all the characters look so fucked up. Like, South Park, all the characters look fucked up. Farzar, that new show, all the characters look fucked up. Rick and Morty, it's, it's, it's so that kids see it, and they're like, and this is probably not a kid's show. <laughs> you know? Bob's Burgers, too. They all look fucked up. Yeah, they Weird animation good. on that one. Bob's Burgers is gas, though. That shit's so funny. I, a f- new What's Family Guy is better than Old Family Guy. I'm going to say it right fucking now. New huh? Family Guy is f- way funnier than Old Family Guy. No, it's not. I swear to God, dude. It, they made- well, if look, if you think that, that's fine. I definitely prefer Old Family Guy because it's like... It's not just absurdity. That's Seth, why I like it. The Seth MacFarlane's new material is is all just over the top. Let's be as weird as possible. Peter's like, retarded. Peter's retarded. I mean, Meg's just an abomination. Chris jerks off a lot. You're, I mean, you're naming old family guy here. Y- yeah, but they they just they just push the fucking bar all the way up t- yeah, toward yeah. like they're maximizing the, of their cat my bed and mean the Here, gay yeah. knee touch you. Do you remember when um Old season... Family Guy is smarter, I'll say that. Okay, but. yeah. Yeah, we can agree on that. Do you remember when season ten of Family Guy dropped on Netflix and there was something between Netflix and Family Guy where Seth MacFarlane was like, Alright, fuck you then and he sent them the uncensored version of season ten where mm. it, they dropped all the fucks, they dropped all the shits and um you literally see Carter's penis in one episode. Oh wow! Yeah, it was it was one where um, there, it was a montage of him trying on different robes to like just be a better old guy, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, the fucking the one of the last shots was him walking out of a out of a dressing room with his robe completely open and his dick hanging out. And Peter goes, <laughs> "Yeah, the penis one." <laughs> <laughs> I think in South Park, the uh, the uncensored one, you see like Cartman's paint, like a little penis or something. I think so. Oh the, no! The that, fucking first episode. The first episode of Dragon Ball. You see yeah. fucking Goku's little baby penis, dude. You do. You do see that. Yeah. 
I like how people are like, yeah, well, that's art. Sometimes you have to convey that. Do you? Do you? Do you actually? Yeah. So, dude, okay, this is this is kind of funny. The girl I was hanging out with, we watched two separate things on Netflix where you just saw a cock. And I knew when it was coming up. We watched 28 Days Later, like the first like 10 minutes of it, and then we were like, all right, this sucks. Turn it off. But it, it doesn't suck. It's a good movie. But in like the first 10 minutes, you see Killian Murphy's penis, mm -hmm. and then... In uh, in the first episode of Shameless, you see Kev's penis, and it's just like you see penis and balls too. Like he's just spread out on the bed, naked as fuck, and he's like dicks hanging out. And the gay kid Ian comes in to grab some shit, and he's like, "Hey, you got my cigarettes? Where are you going with those?" And he's like, "Uh, uh, your wife wanted some." And he's like, "All right, give me one." And he like reaches over his dick and balls to hand him a cigarette, lights it, arms behind the back, full legs spread, dick and balls out, and I'm like, "Okay." Okay, well, my bad. <laughs> Dude, you know what caught me fucking off guard is uh, when I pulled my penis and balls out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, in in like in the movie Super Size Me, it, like like four minutes in, the dude just getting a rectal like a, a fucking oh yeah, getting a fucking prostate exam. Prostate exam. You just see his whole asshole. Yeah, you're like okay, well, okay, I, oh. We watched right. that in health class in high school. Oh, dude, can I have one of those? Yeah. Dude, sick. Watched it in health class in high school. That was hilarious. And I remember, I remember, um, in like tenth grade English, maybe we had to watch uh, Romeo and Juliet. And the, the the teacher I had, she would just hold a piece of paper over the the board, oh, while yeah. it was playing, or over the TV, like during the sex scenes. And she was like, <laughs> "You guys don't know what's happening here, you sixteen year old virgins, you." I remember, I remember a teacher I had did something similar to that. It was just like, we're going to know. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, hey, yeah, we'll never figure out what was going on behind that piece of cardboard covering the TV of Romeo and Juliet playing in class. It's it's kind of like Japanese people censoring the vagina during a porn video. And that's called a callback, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, what do you got to say about that, Josh? It's not needed. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get hard in class. I mean, fuck, when you're 16, a fucking, a mere ankle could get you hard in class, you know? Shit, in the fucking future, I, I'm saying like 300 years in the future, dude, Japan is going to make it to where real life vaginas and penises are blurred. Are blurred out, yeah. Yeah. That's like, uh, it's not going to be circumcising anymore, it's going to be blurring the vagina. And you're going to have to pay a 10,000 yen to see the but pussy. To see the pussy. pussy. You know what I'm just realizing? It's fucked up that um that 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 Japanese accent you do sounds exactly like um uh Viceroy Gunray from Star Wars. It's like These are not the Star Wars you're looking for. That, does that not sound just like Gunray? Who's Gunray? No, the, the guy that's in the the beginning of the Phantom Menace where he's like do not let them get inside the room. Send send the poisonous gas inside and kill Obi Wan and the Koi Gunner. Koi Gunner. Does that place. not sound oh, just yeah, like that character? Yeah, it does actually. Wow, in that's so racist. crazy. In a galaxy a far, a far away, <laughs> that I have crazy. a Japanese accent. Yeah, dude. It's like, and I'm pretty sure the guy that wore that mask and played that guy is a white guy. <laughs> 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 and he just has to do that accent. <laughs> and then we don't even have to talk about Jar Jar being played by a black guy, and yeah, uh, you know how Jar Jar is. It, it, like, it, was that making fun of black people? I mean, bro, it's it's not. I never put that together. It's not a Caucasian accent we got going on there. I'll yes, say that. I, um, yeah, like it, I don't see it having. I don't. I mean, I don't. Am I missing a stereotype or something? You got a good heart, Mark. <sighs> <laughs> well, we found out Mark is not racist. <laughs> he I doesn't mean, think Jar Jar's black. I mean, what if he was playing like basketball or some shit? And he, then does, he does play basketball in the second. And one. One. No, no, he, he doesn't. Fucking no, does. he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he held the blast. He held the blaster sideways. He did. Like what? Like I don't shit. fucking. I would shit myself. Yeah, man. No. And I liked how um, I liked how after the first Star Wars, where Jar Jar was like in it a lot, um, they just didn't have him in the second or third one. And I mean, the second or third one is the prequels, not the not the original trilogy. Someone uh, said it'd be really. Someone said, uh, "Would it wouldn't it be crazy if like Jar Jar was secretly secretly is, uh, a Sith?" And I was like, "You know what? Fuck it, fuck it, dude. Why not? That fuck sounds it. awesome." And there's like there's like conspiracies and shit, of, and like people that actually like make it make sense on YouTube, and it's like, whoa, that's dark. He's the Sith Lord. <laughs> yeah, it was something like that. Like he was like he was the mastermind behind it all the whole time, and people like have made it made sense on YouTube. It's crazy. I've seen like images of him in like a fucking whole ass. Uh, 
Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and yeah. red eyes and everything. Yeah. yeah, he looks fucking hilarious, honestly. Because imagine, like, that guy coming to kill you. Misa gonna kill your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're what? Why do you talk like that, you fucking, fucking bitch? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, break your shit, Ah, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Misa? <laughs> Misa, break your shit. <laughs> now he's Indian. Now he's Indian. <laughs> you just got to mark that down. I'm going to go ahead and mark that down. So, <coughs> you're a bitch. You're a bitch. You know what, Josh? Hey, kids. PSA for Mark. Drink a fuck ton of beer, smoke cigarettes, and drink and drive. Okay. Well... Good thing nothing we say is meant to be taken seriously. <laughs> yeah. Good thing, I'm being 100% serious no, right not. now. No, he's not. He's lying. Swear to God. Nope. He swears to my life. life. Nope. Not on his life. Not on his life. He's a if you don't drink and drive, you're a <laughs> pussy. Okay. You're a straight up pussy, and then you're not going to make as much friends. And that's Marco saying that, everybody, and not me or Josh. And I'm being 100% honest yeah, right now. And so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark has had too many Topo Fuck Chico's. the comedy podcast. This is me talking yeah. to you as a man. Okay. <laughs> oh shit for 200, please. Marco's had way too many Topo Chico's. By and the uh, way, by yeah, the way, gayest thing you could drink. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take things to never say for uh, 800. Okay, uh, uh you, you drinking should. and driving <laughs> should be a cool thing to do. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say um what is no? <laughs> Ding boom! Correct. You got it. You, you got just it. did you just combine Family Feud and Jeopardy? By the way, yeah. that's not a game show. <laughs> family Jeopardy, Jeopardy feud. I have family Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> family, yeah. Jeopardy stinks, dude. I'm way too dumb for that show. Jeopardy family. Welcome to Jeopardy. <laughs> Welcome to Jeopardy family. <laughs> <laughs> Jeopardy for you. <laughs> Some retarded dude just making a game show. <laughs> Welcome to Jeopardy family. No, there was a dude that came into my work and he's like, he's like, bro. No, well, he he was very autistic and I'm not knocking him for that. But he, sounds like you're knocking him for it. He's like, oh, I see that you guys have um a, a nice selection of pipes. I was like, yeah, we do. Um, yeah, quit being so retarded and you might be able to buy one. <laughs> and then he goes, I actually have a company um, that uh, makes refrigerators. Maybe. So here's my card. And then it was like drawn. It's just, no, it's, it's, like a, it's like a fucking index card with crayon on it. It was damn near close to that. Dude, I swear <laughs> to God, Josh. Uh, fucking, it was a white card, blank, and then it was, uh, like, printed writing on it, like, it shows the address and everything like that, but then it was, like, a drawing of a refrigerator and, like, Microsoft Paint and shit like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, dude. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'll take five of them. <laughs> Why? I like them. I hope he goes far. I don't. I hope he fucking crashes and burns. This fucking dumbass refrigerator company. I just company. got it later. <laughs> I just got it later. That's, that's what you should have started doing. <laughs> He's like, oh, I love Blue's Clues. I'm like, I know. I know. I can tell. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Yeah, couldn't have, couldn't have figured that out. Shocker. <laughs> yeah. Let me guess. You like uh, trains? And they're like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. How did you know? It's like, do you like Crayola crayons? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> that makes me think that it'd be so easy to do magic for autistic people. Oh my god, it'd be so easy to <laughs> like read your mind like you enjoy fucking um watching save me here, Dylan. You enjoy watching Diego the fucking I don't know, man. <laughs> Whatever. Go something Diego something Diego. punchline. There you go. You enjoy watching Lego stop motion videos. Oh how did you know? <laughs> You're like, oh no. You just ate a Dunkaroos 30 minutes ago. Oh, <gasps> my God. You like to watch WWE. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents are stressed out all the time. <laughs> oh, my God. You live in a good family, but they're stressed out all the time. Your dad killed himself <laughs> because of you. <laughs> Everything How in your house you know? is childproof. You are in... <laughs> <laughs> Why is everything childproof and you're 23? Uh, there's a lock on the bathroom counter, isn't there? <laughs> You pull your pants down when you pee. Uh, all the way to the floor. <laughs> all the way to the floor. <laughs> There's a gate going to your parents' room. <laughs> You've seen Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium at least 30 times. There are 
Sunny D's in the fridge. <laughs> and let me guess, Kool-Aid jammers. Let me guess, extremely good at math? <laughs> Super strong for no reason? <laughs> let me guess, you squeeze the cat? All upper body strength? <laughs> Call eyes, now and receive you're, you're not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably need to take a retard test. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Oh, it'd be so funny if we took a test and we're like, yeah, you're actually retarded. You guys are it? actually, you, you are definitely on the spectrum. All three of you. <laughs> I guarantee we are, dude. Oh, no, no one doubt, no doubt. hundred percent. At least like a point, or at least. At, I mean, did this I, bump? With that bump, it has to be. Shit, like, I, I can talk to you guys comfortably. And this might just be... Something that happens when you're shy and you don't know somebody. But, uh, but yeah, I can't talk to people sometimes, dude. I'll say, like, just a weird thing, and I'll be like, and I'll be like, oh. Well, just, like, not confident as fuck. Like, just. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Same sometimes. But lately, since I haven't been smoking CBD and getting stoned off CBD, it's been uh, a little bit easier. I feel a little bit less autistic. I feel like I smoked myself. CBD. I feel like I smoked myself into autism. I mean. You fucking, I hit a pen, I'm like. Dog, I'm real autistic right now. You gotta chill out. You can't. You can't be making all those loud noises right now. No, you, you just get so ripped, and you're like, Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch Markiplier right now, dude. <laughs> I gotta watch Jack right now, dude. I gotta turn it on right now. I gotta turn on Ninja Compilation. Dude. Five in the morning. I gotta start watching Ninjago. <laughs> <laughs> That shit's pretty good. Man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, because you're autistic. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking autist. <laughs> <laughs> no, instead of like a like an autistic dude goes to an uh gets audit no nah, nah, that's stupid. All right, anyway, fuck that. Uh, I was call. gonna do a play on word, yeah. I was good gonna do a play on words. Like an audit, then autistic, and then some dude that's autistic was like, yeah, d- this is the autistic, and I nah, really didn't know. I'm an See, aut- it doesn't make any sense because it's an unfinished joke in I'm, my mind. I'm autisticing you. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. Thank you so much. Uh, fucking an autistic dude goes to an audition. <laughs> and then they're like, all right, so let's see what you got. And they're like, so I've been, I was diagnosed uh, when I was six. And they're like, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm at an autistic? No. 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 Not, this is audition. audition. This is American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> what if, uh, you know, Leo, Leo DiCaprio played that retarded kid? Remember that in uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape? I've, you know, I've, I've heard a lot of it. I've never seen he it. He plays a retarded guy, right? So what if, like, in the audition, there's an actual retarded guy, and he loses the role to Leo, and he's like, <laughs> what the fuck? He's not even retarded. <laughs> he's not even actually retarded. And he watches the movie, he's like, his retarded accent isn't even good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, he does, a retarded dude does an impression of, like, a not retarded dude. Dude, I'm not going to lie. When I saw that movie, I was like, man, he's really good at being retarded. <laughs> <laughs> just just actually retarded. He's, I was like, man, what? Yo, know, like, a guy sees and he's like, oh, fuck, Leo's retarded now, dude. What happened? Well, I remember watching Breaking Bad and watching Walt's son, like, talk. I'm like, he's good. He actually has a, a <laughs> yeah, cerebral palsy in real life. He actually does. I'm oh like, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> it's, not as, it's not as severe as, like, Walt Jr.'s character, which... Just have him not use the crutches, you know? Why does he have to have the crutches? <laughs> yeah. Just let him be himself, you no, know? An, an auti- like a, not autistic, a retarded actor that has, like, sort of whatever, that needs crutches, and they're like, yeah, uh, cut. Let's do with that without the crutches. Yeah, so your character actually doesn't have crutches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, your character's not retarded. A guy in a wheelchair, it's like, hey, your character can actually walk, so we're going to have to need you to, we're gonna, we're gonna need you to get out of the wheelchair. Oh, uh, yeah, your character's not Asian? <laughs> just, oh, just no. an Asian dude. <laughs> yeah. So actually, so Tape. so so Michael, your your character actually isn't black. So you're gonna have to play a white guy. <laughs> He's like, I, I'm. I don't know how to. I'm know. black. So yeah. Idris Elba, your your character is actually white. So you're gonna have to. You know what I'm saying? You gotta change office. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right here. You're gonna have to work on everything up here a little bit. God. Did we paint you white? No, uh, it's probably not gonna fly. I mean, we'll give you ten thousand dollars per scene. Oh shit! Okay, pick me up. Yeah, dude. It's like when Harrison Ford was old as fuck, and they were like, "We'll give you three hundred million dollars to do another Indiana Jones," and he was like, "Sign me up." Fuck it. He was like, "Let me read the script." Aliens. All right, sign me up. Do you think when does Indiana Jones take place? It has to be before thirties. The thirties. He or said the N word. The first. Three take place in the 30s. This, the fourth one takes place in the 50s. And I think this new one is going to be in the 60s or 70s. 
<laughs> they should just keep going. I think, but I think I think the new one is gonna have a bunch of flashbacks though, because I I said before there was a a bunch of set pictures that got leaked of a guy dressed as Indiana Jones with a fucking Harrison Ford mask on and a Nazi tank in the background. So I was like, that's probably not like in the seventies. That doesn't that's happen right. in the seventies. I watched the newest Rambo with my buddies, and uh, like he's old, dude. So you know he can't really like do all the crazy shit he was doing. So yeah. there was literally like a, a like a like a thirty minute walking around. In a, in a cave shooting people scene. Oh my god! Like yeah. there was just a bunch of booby traps and shit. Yeah. I was well, like, and then in the, in the, in one of the newest Star Wars, it has Harrison Ford as Han Solo, and there's a scene where where they have to run from something, and Harrison Ford is just speed walking away from the threat behind him, and the guy that. Uh, the guy that was in the Wookiee costume, the Chewie costume, was the same guy from the original trilogy, <laughs> also just still walking. He died after that movie. He died after that movie. Yeah, I think I think that movie killed him. I mean, they're like, "Hey, bro, you're the only guy that can wear a suit that like looks like this, dude." You're the only guy that's more than six five. <laughs> <laughs> they get Shaq to play Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah, but it's he's not even wearing an outfit. He's just Shaq, and they're like Chewie, and he's like, "Yo, what's up?" <laughs> he's like, he's like. Just does it shittily. Yeah, yeah. Stop buying everybody things at Walmart, <laughs> dude. There's a fucking there's a scene in uh, in the the Han Solo movie that Disney put out a couple of years ago where Han meets Chewie. He gets thrown. He 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 like gets thrown in this um in this cage where he's supposed to die, and Chewie like starts fucking him up, and Han grabs Chewie's arm while he's slamming him, and Han just goes. And Chewie stops attacking him, and Han goes, yeah, I speak a little. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whoever wrote that scene is a funny-ass guy. You know? He's so silly. He's, He's fucking, so silly, fucking dude. silly goose. That's some Disney humor, dude. <laughs> dude. Did you know um, Josh say something? What? I don't what? Know. You know what? I'm going to say something. You tried to throw that on Josh. That made you look worse. <laughs> it did, but I guys, mean. Guys, you know what else? What's up, Josh? <laughs> did you know something, though? You guys know something? Cop out. <laughs> 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 Fuck, dude. Um, That's hilarious. Did you guys. Oh, man, guys, you know what's crazy? Josh, say something. <laughs> <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys see that uh, fucking what's up, Josh? What do you got to say about that? <laughs> no. Okay, so mm. yeah, go ahead and smell that one. So fucking, there's a there's a fucking martial art called Lithway. What or, the fuck? And it's like Muay Thai, Muay Thai, Muay Thai. You don't have to fucking you don't have to say it all crazy. It's Muay Thai, <laughs> no, it's but it's a uh, it's like Muay Thai that and uh, kickboxing and all that shit. But you can you can do headbutts. Oh, you can do headbutts, bro. That's wild. Fuck. Um, you remember in like the early UFC, like groin shots were a thing. No. Groin shots were legal. Was in it? The UFC. I thought it was groin shots were the only thing that was illegal. I think eye gouging and biting were the because there was hair pulling and shit. Oh yeah, that's right, dude. There was one UFC fight that like the dude just fucks up this dude's crotch. Yeah. Like just kept punching. Like they were on the ground and he just kept going. Pfft, Right in the nuts. Yeah. And I think that was his... The dude went... I, I, I don't know, but he survived. Which is crazy. And he had kids after that, which is even more crazy. Which is even more nuts. I showed my stepmom the uh, the Kamaru Usman and Leon Edwards head kick that, that, that literally killed Kamaru. She was and, like, oh, uh, I don't give a shit. And she goes, she goes oh, can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, you can. And she goes, what can you not do? And then I started explaining like what, everything you couldn't do. And it made me realize how fucking dumb the rules are. Because, you know, if you're, like, facing somebody, you can elbow them like that. Mm. But if you have them on the ground, you cannot elbow them, like, up and down, straight up and down. Right. You can flying knee somebody in the mouth and knock them out cold, but you cannot knee somebody if they have one hand on the mat. You can slam somebody, but you can't slam them straight down. You yeah. can slam them on their fucking neck as long as you're doing a curve. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can't do the the nine to five, twelve to six, twelve to because that's nine to five. Top of the clock, bottom of the clock. The, well, the nine to five one's a harder worker. <laughs> <laughs> Just diagonal. It, it elbows. pays for his fucking. You know, it it pays his bills. What if somebody does a literal nine to five elbow and they're like, "No, you can't do a twelve to six. And he goes, "It's a nine to five. It's nine to five. Yeah, I, I fucking, I'm, I'm within the rules there. Like, damn, 
You're, you're fucking. You're goddamn right. You are. Fuck. I, I mean. But 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 so the weirdest one for me is the knees. You can have your hand on the mat and nobody can knee you. But Jorge Masvidal can run straight at Ben a- Ben Askren and knee him in the face and kill him and kill him in the middle of the fucking in the middle of the octagon. And, and some dumbass rules, but so much fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, so dude, so much fun to watch. I wanted Ben Askren to whoop his ass, but I mean that 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 six second. I don't think I did. I think I think I remember seeing that and being like, this fucking this fucking guy is not respecting what Jorge does whatsoever. And Jorge was nasty. Before, like, the two Usman fights, dude, Jorge was so nasty, it was unbelievable. Jorge's cool. I liked Jorge a lot until um, he, like, hit. Mind you, who gives a fuck? But he did hit Kobe Covington, like, outside after he got his ass fucking kicked by Kobe. Yep. And then he, he assaults him, like, whenever he uh, Kobe was, like, just having dinner or some shit. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're a up. pussy. You're a pussy. Which you would never call Jorge Muslim a pussy to his face. To his face, right. no, because he would whoop my ass. Yeah, but... That is that is kind of it's it's kind of weird that Jorge's like this like super like street loyalty guy and then just sneaks a guy while he's having dinner. Well, he he talked about it. he's like he, I, I was one of the best sneakers of all fucking. By the yeah, way, are you did. a shoe? He, yeah, I'm one of the best sneakers of all time. You can oh. call me Skechers. Oh, what kind? And like the, the interview just calls calls his ass out. By the way, Jorge, we'll get you on the podcast, dude. We'll for sure get you on the podcast. I would for sure do that. All right, gun to your head. Favorite candy. Kit Kats. <laughs> Skittles. <laughs> really? Not nah, Reese's. Okay, then say Reese's. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles was the first thing that popped in my head. I'm like, nah, Reese's. Dude, Kit Kats rule because they have that like little cracker part inside where it's like it's not all chocolate, you know? Yeah, crisp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Hershey's, no, 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 no. Hershey's, it's like, uh, I mean, yeah, it's good for like one or two little squares, but I can't do all chocolate all the time, you know? Let's do uh, let's do not ch- like non-chocolate favorite candy. I don't like any of it. Chocolate. But, like if you were to pick one, if I had to pick one, it would be like uh, sh- shoot me. You know, I, really? I you really can't think of one. I really don't like any candy that's not chocolate. Fucking Mike and Ike's. Hate them. Can't get into them. Sour Patch Kids. Oh, uh, Blue Sharks. Those are pretty good. Blue Sharks. Okay. No, I mean that's good. Just well, about well, you. Skittles. Cream and some blue yeah, on them. Skittles. Skittles. Probably say like Mike and Ike's or Sour Patch Kids. Or the Sour Patch Kid watermelon ones are good, but I really don't like sour stuff. I like sour stuff. Okay, favorite candy bar. Boom. Um, like, yeah. Either a Kit Kat or a Crunch Bar. Those are gas, dude. Really? Oh, oh, the the fucking uh, Mr. Good bars. The Good the bars, the, yeah. the it's literally just Hershey's with peanuts instead of almonds. Yep. Those things are fucking gas. What about you, Josh? Twigs. Twix. Oh, good one. Oh, that's a good, good one. one. I was gonna say Twix or the the Bueno bars. Bueno bars are good. The Buenos are good, dude. Paydays are also really underrated. Paydays are fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, the fucking white to, chocolate. You don't have to have chocolate to be a good candy bar. And I will say that white chocolate is not chocolate. Okay. It's Milk chocolate. Fucking, hey, say that again. White chocolate is not chocolate. It's a whole different thing. And I'm not saying it's bad. No, you just said it's white chocolate isn't chocolate. Literally has. Chocolate in his name. Okay, well, mind you, you know what? I'm gonna go fuck myself because the 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 fucking white grapes are green. Die. So there you go. There you go. Um, Butterfingers are also pretty good sometimes. Oh my god, they're so good, dude. Butterfingers are pretty fun. Butterfingers fuck. Babe they Ruth. do fuck. Baby Babe Ruth's. Ruth's are good. Oh, Baby Ruth's are so good, dude. I like uh, Three Musketeers with that fluffy shit in the, oh, in yeah, the inside. Yeah, yeah. Is oh that Three god, Musketeers yeah. or is that Milky Way? No, Milky Way has the peanuts and the caramel. You know what's... It, Milky Way is literally caramel. just... Oh, it, it just has caramel? Okay. I was about to say Milky Ways are just literally <coughs> Snickers. I used to fuck with Snickers so fucking hard, and I was like, you know what, Milky Way, it's like it's like, mil- it's like a Snickers without the peanuts, and it's like, you just get a bunch of, like, caramel in your fucking mouth, you're like, okay. Dude, Never. I... Milky Ways is still good. I've got quite a hot take. I don't like them. I've got quite a hot take here. I do Same. not fuck with caramel whatsoever. I never have. Why is it too, too, too like, wow. it's, I don't like, I don't like shit getting stuck in my teeth, bro. I fucking right. hate but it. But the taste, what about the taste? It, get, take it or leave it just because of how it gets stuck in my teeth. Damn. I mean, it's literally just melted sugar. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's not, it's not anything to fucking shit your pants over. You For me. It, would you put it over like ice cream or some shit? Like that? Uh, like it's a, really good. I feel like. Like a milkshake? <coughs> I've never had it over ice cream. Just, just caramel over ice cream. Maybe I could get behind it, but. Um, I can take like minimal amounts of caramel with like a, yes Snickers or a Twix, you know, 
but not a fan at all. Caramel apples, go fuck yourself. I, 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 I can't fuck with those either. I, uh, they, I, I, don't, I, got, I can't do that. I had braces one time, and then uh, I wanted to eat a caramel apple, and I'm like, when I get my braces off, I'm going to eat a caramel apple. Never did. Never did, because you don't need to. They yeah. suck. Yeah. I can eat something much. with caramel on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So one of my little Butterscotch, brothers- though? What about butterscotch? Nah. Uh, okay, so I can, like, if an old lady gives me a butterscotch candy for, like, mm. carrying her fucking groceries or something, which has never happened before ever, I, I'll, I'll suck on it for a little bit, but I'm spitting it out of my car window for sure in, like, five minutes, you know? Yeah. There was this dude at, in, in high school. We're being so real with each other right now, bro. I fucking, <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. dude. I'll start you guys off, dude. That's, <laughs> that's me being action. We're being like, so real with each other right now, dude. Do you guys remember... Uh, No. So he he used to go to our school anyway. So then, me being Canadian, this good that was good. That was really good. I I, I, that was a good fart. I should have mic'd that one. This fuck, you should have, dude. What the fuck? That was a good fart. Um, so this dude would always make fun of, not make fun of me, but like like in a joking way, he'd be like. So I heard Canadians like butterscotch. I'm like, dude, I actually fucking love butterscotch. And, he, <laughs> and then every time he'd see me in the hallway, he'd throw his hands up and look at me, like towards me, and he'd be like, butterscotch, <laughs> butterscotch. And then and then he gave me some butterscotch candies one time, and I was like, oh, but butterscotch. And he was like, butterscotch. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And it, it was fucking. That's awful. funny. Yeah. I hope he's doing okay. Yeah, man. That poor he, guy. I remember one time he was like, because I was like so liberal and so fucking atheist in high school. And then uh, he'd be like, and he was so fucking nice. He'd be like, you know what, Marco? I respect your opinion, but just know Jesus loves you. And I was like, bro, I just don't believe that. He's like, but with that being said, Jesus loves you. And then you can always turn to him when you change your mind. I was like, hey, bro, I, 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 I like that. But uh, I'm atheist, bro. I'm liberal and atheist. He goes, with that being said, though, Jesus loves you. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. He was so present. And dude, I love that dude. If I see him, I'll suck him off in the name of God. Pause. Okay, my bad. Too my far, bad, guys. Too far. But also, with that being said, <laughs> and that's it. And that's the pod. Oh, I shake myself. <laughs>